just love nature, love the outdoors first. You know, that's the passion. That's where it comes from. Yeah, I was a, a custom motorcycle painter for 25 years, um, and then I was finding out that custom motorcycle painting was getting in the way of my photography. I don't take a picture with my career in mind. I take a picture with trying to show that moose or bear or butterfly in the best possible situation I can. It's, re it's a respect issue. You, you're in their home. Like this morning when we were out, that, you know, we saw a nice bull moose. That's, we're in his living room. And there has to be a certain amount of respect there. And that is, you know, going in as quiet as you can. You're gonna get the best results by being quiet and, um, and slowing down. You pay enough attention, you can, each individual is, animal has a personality just like people do. I kind of read them, I kind of look at them and try and read where they are mentally are, if I'm right or not, but I try. You know, and based on that, you can tell um, what you can get away with and what you can't get away with. I do have a, a black bear shot that I took. It's in autumn color, which is unusual. And that was um, three weeks in the blind. Of, all afternoon from, from one o'clock in the afternoon till um, probably s six o'clock or so. Then when you're in the blind and you're waiting for something to come in, you can't read, can't nap, you, you can't cough, you, you know, you gotta be quiet. And, you know, that was a, a pretty special shot that took three weeks but there's times when you get that once in a lifetime where you walk down to a pond and there's twin calves staring at you you know um, and you get it in one minute tons of luck tons of luck like I don't very seldom go to a place and expect you know like I'm gonna photograph moose today well maybe but maybe you're gonna photograph a pine martin running by or something you know so you have to be an opportunist as well to capture you know, whatever comes in front of you. There's always something to learn about animals. All of, every day you learn something, you know. Yeah, I just admire what's going on out there, you know. Like this morning we had that big bull moose and he was out strutting around and jumped in the water and swam towards us and then he heard the clicks and didn't like that and turned around and swam away. But he's in his environment, you know, he's, he's moving and shaking today. He was on the move and looking for food and it was just great, just great to see this massive creature um, in his environment. Such masters at where they live, they can throw extreme tanks, they can go anywhere, you know, through the mud, through the water, snow, you name it. So they're very well adapted to their environment. That's my goal, is to make you look at that and like, not the picture I took, but the animal that's in the picture. You're seeing this creature in its environment, in, in a pretty good spot, looking good, and I think people appreciate that. I'm not trying to be a good photographer. I'm trying to show that subject in the best light or position or pose or behavior that I can. That's the secret. I'm complimenting the subject, not the other way around.